the questioner asks about the ruling of insulting the rulers of the Muslim lands. He gives an example such as Saudi Arabia, referring to them as being puppets of America and so on and so forth. The Ibn response to this is not from the methodology of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'a to insult the rulers of the lands of the Muslims. This is not their way. They follow on this the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, the ayat in the book of Allah Azawajal, which teach us how we are to conduct ourselves when it comes to the mistakes that transpire at the hands of these rulers. Anas, he said, Nahana kubara'una min ashabi Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wasallam that our elders from amongst us, they uh, prohibited us. And he's referring to the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. They prohibited us saying, لا تسبوا أمرأكم Do not insult your leaders. ولا تغشوهم And do not cheat them. ولا تبغضوهم And do not hate them. واتقوا الله and fear Allah, wasbiru and be patient, for in al amra qareeb, for indeed the matter, and meaning the, the opening is near. And this hadith is narrated by, or was collected by Ibn Abi Asim in his sunnah, and was authenticated by Al Albani. So you can see the teaching that Anas radiallahu benefited from the major Sahaba, his elders from the Sahaba, do not insult them. Also, Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu, when Al-Hajjaj ibn Yusuf, he burnt down the Kaaba, and this was obviously after Abdullah ibn Zubayr, he rebuilt the Kaaba. Al-Hajjaj, after killing him, he brought down the Kaaba and put it back in the state, rebuilt it in the state that it was in prior to the restructuring that uh, Abdullah ibn Zubayr did, uh, rebuilding the Kaaba upon the foundation of Ibrahim. In any case, Ibn Abbas, عنه, he said to those who are insulting him, لا تكون عونا للشيطان, do not be one who assists the shaitan against him. Meaning by, you, meaning by you insulting him, this is not from the ways of bringing about any good. And the question which puts itself forward is that, what are we gaining from this? Also, Al-Alam uh, Al-Uthaymin, Rahimahullah, as it's found his explanation of Riyadh Al-Salihin, he mentioned, Sabu Waliul Amr wa Tashheeru bihi fahada laysa min al sadi bil haq Insulting the ruler and manifesting or making his errors known publicly, that this is not from the manifestation of the truth, بل هذا من الفساد. This is in fact from corruption. هذا مما يجب إغار الصدور وكراهة ولاة الأمور والتمرد عليهم. This is from that which causes turmoil or a rancor in the chests of the people against them and for them to have a dislike for their rulers and be rebellious towards them. And today they refer to it as drawing attention or raising awareness this is the terms that they use. All of it is false. So this is not from the ways of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Because what it does is exactly this. It leads to rebellion. It leads to anarchy, chaos, bloodshed. And we've been told that if he's a Muslim and he's still within the fold of Islam, to be patient. To be patient. These are the teachings. رُبَّمَا يُفْضِي إِلَى مَا هُوَ أَكْبَرِ إِلَى الْخُرُوجِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَنَبْذِي بِيَعَتِهِمْ وَالْعِيَضِ بِاللَّهِ So he says that it may actually lead to that which is even greater, which is uh, raising arms against them, advancing to revolution and uh, turning aside the pledge that was given to them and refugees sought. So in any case, these, uh, the, the hadith as well as the statements here uh, which you've mentioned, they indicate that this is not from the way of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah so upon the person is to cling on to their way, to cling on to the way of the Salaf al-Salih and to avoid the likes of these mukhalafat, these oppositions to their way even though there has increased uh, uh, the political activists and those who call to this methodology of insulting and uh, reviling the rulers publicly and calling, raising awareness, even though it only leads to facade like Sheikh Uthaymi Rahimullah mentioned.